Sunday afternoon. Freaking hot out again today, boys. It's like 28 degrees Celsius out. Don't like that kind. Welcome to my vlog. And welcome to my vlog. on the Trans Am today but holy shit is it ever hot out and I want to get mowing on the lawn again because it's a friggin mess oh it just dicked so probably gonna mow the lawn today I want to bring the mower up a couple notches mow the lawn put the switches in the Trans Am and then yank the battery and put it on a charge so that's the battle plan that's what I'm sticking to but first oh, I got a leftover eat. macaroni salad and a beer Breakfast of champions, boys. And then uh, we'll friggin' have at her and get this project going and stuff. I recall closing that door when I came in here. Hmm. Didn't even hear it open. Lots well, dicked, but uh, whatever. I got things to do. I'm gonna go outside and have a cigarette and <clears throat> I guess yank the battery out of the Trans Am and bring it into the garage and see if he'll take a charge and go from there. So. Holy Let's shit, go. is it ever hot in there, eh? Freak sakes. I gotta do some cleanup in this car, too. Gotta clean the windshield and everything else and get it all good to go but uh, for now we're just gonna pop the hood and yank the battery because it's dicked so let's go with that it would just be easier to uh, charge the battery while it's still in the car instead of taking it all out and then putting it back in just hook my charger right up to it and give her a charge Maybe that's what I'll do is that, is that allowed? I'm not gonna do it today because I can't drive the car today is that allowed? Can you just charge while it's in the car still? Let me know guys. Freaking wind's blowing, I don't have a windsock on this camera. Yeah, I'm using the flip. But uh, I think I might get started on my, my freaking lawn here. I'm gonna go in the house and grab some water and then set them all up. Then lower to mulch and bring it up a couple notches and go from there. So let's, let's get going. It. And then I get a call from the girlfriend. She wants to go for food. She's coming home from Kung Fu, so I guess this will have to wait. Oh well. Huge ass wasp in the garage. Son of a bitch. Holy shit. Really? Really? Wow. Friggin' chippy. <laughs> Friggin' chippy. I just caught him. Little bastard. That's unbelievable, those dogs. I'm fucking believable. Don't blame you for wanting to stay down here. Yeah, it's nicer down here. So much cooler down here than upstairs. Yeah, I like the cold air. It feels nice on my black fur. I know you like the cool air. Yeah, it feels awesome. It's friggin' like 15 degrees difference down here than it is upstairs. So come down here. Re uh, it's just uh, crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Alright, well, you trying to stay cool? I'm gonna. And, um, I'm just gonna friggin' wait for the girlfriend to get home. No water. Because we're going for food. Bring me back some food, okay? We're not bringing you back anything, buddy. Why? No. Why? Jeez, he doesn't eat people food. Come on, yes I do. <laughs> yes. Silly kid then. I'm gonna have a seat on the couch here and wait for the girlfriend to get home because it's a lot nicer down here. Almost tempted to hook my MacBook up down here to play on during the hot days. So, what do you want? I want to come up and cuddle. Hey, Felix. I want to cuddle. Let me out. He has to come over. You sit down and he wants to come over and sit with you. Yep. There's like no room on the couch, but... Coming up. Uh, I was talking with the shirt guy last night. I mentioned we were talking business and stuff. Coming up. So I, uh, holy, really? Yep. Really? Yep. Just when you think he doesn't want to be on YouTube, eh? He just comes over and just, just yep. makes himself at home. I'm comfy. So, talking Hello. with the shirt guy last night and, uh... Hi, bye, YouTube. He, uh... <laughs> Did you just put your ass in the camera? Yeah, I know. It's comfier this way. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, I sent him the template. He said he's going to whip me up some shirts and get that all, all settled and stuff. So I might have those by the end of the week. I'm only getting 20 done. Dude, claws. Put them away. No. Um, holy shit. No, you can't. You can't sit on me. Come on. <laughs> yes, I can. It's comfy. Stop. He's got his claws out. He's digging into my leg. He's such a dick. Yep. But um, that's better. That's better, okay. But, uh, yeah, so he's going to make a bunch for me. Uh, we're going to do 20 at first. Um, I'm getting seven, one in each color. Nice. So there's going to be like a, a black, a blue, a red, a green, a uh, purple. And one for me because I'm here. Basically seven shirts in different colors, and I'm going to wear one color each day of the week. Kind of like Toby Turner does, a trabuscus there. What about me? You know, 
Um, I think I think that'd be kind of funny to do that. Larry. So I'm gonna do that, and then uh, I'm getting 13 extra shirts made, all in the large or uh, extra large and 2XL. You're ignoring me. Um, basically, you the price increases the moment you go beyond large. No. So small, medium, and large is one price. I give up. I think he said. Uh, one forgetting. I think he said there. Thirteen dollars for small, medium, large, Felix wants and a shirt. then extra large. It goes up to sixteen dollars. Felix wants a shirt. Something like that, because I guess more fabric for the shirt, so it costs them more to purchase the shirt originally, and Come on. his time to print and all that. So that's what he's charging me. Charging to me. So I might have to, like, if I'm going to sell the shirts, I might have to turn around and sell the small, medium, l larges for like, I know. like, like fifteen or seventeen dollars, and then the extra larges and you, you got a text message. Uh, like the. Uh, Hey. Double XL all the way up. I think he said he can go up to four XL. Hey. Those ones there might cost a little bit more money. So we'll have to see how everything goes and pan it out, and then I'll come up with a price. And if people want to buy shirts, then we'll do like PayPal or something. I guess. I know that works for me. You got a tax. And then uh, you know I got to factor in posting and all that, or rude. Uh, shipping and all that. So You're rude. Uh, we'll have to see how much that all costs, and then get things going. So rude. But uh, Felix right now is so happy on me. And you're rude. Are you happy? I'm yeah, pretty happy. You happy because you're sitting on me? Yes, but you got a text message. You really should check. That. Yeah, you're funny. Check your phone. You're funny. Check your phone. Freaking cat. But um, so once the shirts come in, I'll show them and everything, and you guys can decide if you want some. Text. I'm probably gonna do a contest, like I said, and give some away. Text. And other things. So check your phone. Because I still have five of the I subscribe to Vlog and Life stickers that I check your phone. Have no idea what to use for. I don't want to put them on my cars. Hello. So I might just pass those out Hello. and go from there. Hello. So Maybe I'll check your I phone. guess uh, we'll have to see what we do and um, give me your phone. I'll check it. It'll be friggin' awesome. So hello, YouTubers. We're gonna give you guys that quick little update on what's happening with the shirts and let you know it's still going through. Bye. And uh, we'll go from there. So right on. Bye. You know, the girlfriend's home and stuff, and we're gonna go get something to eat. Where I don't know. We'll figure that out. But. Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy as you're coming down the stairs you get to about here and it's like a whole different world it's all freaking cooler so hey anyway, well we're gonna head off and get something to eat what i don't know we'll figure it out all right we decided on boston Hi, pizza yep back at boston pizza right on yep. i think that's what i'm getting right there right on now that is a beer my friends that is a beer okay so we're down here at walmart now there you go. Girlfriend convinced me that I need to buy Diablo 3. So, I'm gonna go pick up a copy of Diablo 3. See what's up. Stuff. So, let's go shopping. Walmart doesn't have it, so... Looks like I'm not playing my game. Maybe we'll try Zellers. Yeah, what the... Oh, no, they're closed at 6. It's currently 6. Do they close at 6? Yeah, we're ridiculed. I have to do that on Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Oh well, whatever. Well, let's go home. Well, we're back home now. I just put the freezies. Yeah, I bought some freezies from Walmart. Threw them in the freezer there. I freaking love those kind. They're the uh, Crush and Root Beer and all the different types of uh, soda pop ones. So, should be pretty good. Well, girlfriend's playing Diablo 3. I'm on the Minecraft. Something kind of dicked happened a while back. Uh, I don't know what exactly happened, but for some reason the permissions in the town got rigged over and everybody kind of got frigged over and stuff and I lost a bunch of stuff and everybody else lost a bunch of stuff and ah, in a feat of rage I said I wasn't going to play there anymore on the SinStick server but then I was chatting with Bill's team Max and he was kind of upset that he lost all of his hard-earned finds like you know stacks of diamonds and ore and all that stuff like you know you're talking about months of work here gone because we got raided because somebody screwed up permission or some shit I don't know how what, what happened how it happened but in the end it happened so we decided, you know what, we're both pretty pretty wealthy in this in the game. I had about twenty five thousand. Bill's probably got like fifty million. So we decided, forget it, let's start our own town. Well, I decided just to go off and make my own town. That way there, if anything screws up, it's because of my fault, not anybody else's fault. And um have my own place to have fun. So I started a little shit town. Currently my house is made out of friggin' dirt. It sucks, but whatever. And um It'll be different. <laughs> uh, right now, it's just like a temporary solution, you know, under construction. So I was tempted to uh, talk to Billy and do a video of uh, a video series of Let's Play and do like a Minecraft series of Bill's Team Max and Scave, and I think that might be kind of funny. It could be pretty dicked, but you never know. But uh, that thing doesn't work worth a shit because I've been seeing wasps and bees like crazy around this area. I don't know if it takes a couple days for it to work or what. But as it stands, junk. Good thing I only paid a buck for it. You know, 
It's an ornament. Nah, I guess. Should get one and hang it up in the garage. Maybe the dirt dowers will frig off. Dude, seriously. Look at this. He's digging. Oh, whatever. But yeah, I can't get Diablo 3 yet. I gotta wait for that. So. Look at this. He's like a little gopher. Look at the holy dog. Look at the Oreo. Don't do that. Now you're filthy. Stupid dog. But yeah, I couldn't get Diablo 3. They're sold out. Future Shop has some, but they're closed. So we're gonna have to wait until Tuesday to probably pick that up if I want it. I don't know. We will see. We will see. Yeah, probably gonna head her back inside and play some more Minecraft and stuff and just chill out because it's freaking hot out. I want to do this lawn, but I might wait till later on tonight when the sun starts to set so I can actually do the lawn and not bake. Or I might just say, frig it, tomorrow's supposed to be overcast. I'll hit it then. That way they don't have the sun ripping me apart. So, right on. I'm gonna head her back inside. Talk to you guys oh, soon. It's gotta be something like 8.30 now, so now is when I should be out here mowing the lawn because it's really nice and cool while well, it's cooling down. And I could quickly whip through this and then go have a shower and be ready for bed. I should do that, but probably not gonna. I just feel lazy today. Well, I feel lazy. I feel lazy every day, but today's an exceptional day. Not sure why, just go with it. Oh, and it's... We just finished watch... Ah, shit, what the frig is that bug? Huh. Being attacked in here. I'm gonna have to get a raid bomb and just hose this place down. But, uh, just friggin', uh, finished watching Supernatural. It was friggin' awesome. I liked it. Too bad the season's over now and we gotta wait to September for the new ones. That's the part I don't like. It's the way she goes. At least the vlogs aren't like that, eh? Imagine if I did that. Started in September, went to the end of May and just said, Yeah, I'm taking summer off, guys. See you in September. Pretty sure come September nobody be watching me again. Ah, uh, no. I, I, don't, I don't like doing that. You go all year round, you entertain your audience. You don't give them teasers, you know? Or, you know, at least try to entertain your audience. I try. I try. But uh, yeah, it was a good episode. I liked it a lot. Uh, girlfriend wanted ice cream, so we ended up going at the McDonald's first. And uh, it's the only place open that sells ice cream at this time of night. So went there and got one of those uh, flurry things. I don't get them because if I do, then I'm up all night with stomach ache and all that. You know, lactose intolerant and all. Uh, cat piss FaceTime me. Not sure what he wants. But uh, I had to let him go because I really wanted to watch the show because I knew it was the season finale. Because with the Supernatural, one thing you know for sure is if they play the song Carry On My Wayward Son, then that means this is the last show of the season. Season finale. They do it all the time. Every season you watch the last episode and it's Carry On My Wayward Son by Kansas. And they end up showing from the first episode all the way up to the end of the 22nd or 23rd episode, however many episodes there were prior to the season finale. And they show the main clips and it's like a good three minute interlude in to get, get you caught up to speed as to all the bullshit that happened because the last episode wraps it all up and they do it so well. So I, I just, I love that show. That show's just simply amazing. Well, I actually didn't do my lawn. Uh, instead, we ended up, like I said, going to uh, McDonald's, picking up some ice cream. And then uh, I got a coffee, and then we came home, watched Supernatural, I talked for a bit and stuff, and then uh, and now I'm out here doing this friggin' update. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't do anything with the car today. Uh, I'm gonna wait for you guys to tell me, is it safe to just to hook a battery charger up to the battery while it's in the car? Because I take the battery out of the car, I gotta do a lot of work, and uh, I'm kinda sorta lazy, so... The less amount of work I have to do, the better. But uh, if I can just hook my charger right up to the car and give her, like just plug it right into the battery on the top post and charge it up. And while it's in the car, then awesome. I'm gonna do that. And it was just way too hot today to be sitting in that car, sitting in that car at plus 32 degrees Celsius to be dicking with those switches with no breeze, no nothing. I, there was no way in hell I could do it. So I was like, yeah, forget that noise. We're not gonna bother. I didn't want to mow my lawn during the day because it was so hot. I would have freaking got heat, heat, uh, heat exhaustion. So that doesn't help that 90% of my shirts are black, but we're gonna remedy that in the near future. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, just uh, been one of those easy going days where I spent most of the day with the girlfriend, except for when she was in, in Kung Fu in the morning. But after that, we spent most of the day together, went for lunch and all that stuff. Because next weekend, I will not see her. Next weekend, she is going to some anime convention in Mississauga, I think it is, or something like that. So, she's going to an anime convention, and I'll be home all weekend with Super Scruffy Fluffy Puppy. But, I have to work next Saturday. I'm covering for Bruce. Bruce needs time off for, never asked him why. Don't really care, honestly. He just needs time off. He asked me to cover for him. I said, sure. Which means, he now owes me a Friday off. So, right on. Which means, some Friday in the near future, uh, he might have to work it. And uh, for, for me, and 
I might do something fun that weekend. Maybe take a jaunt down to Bloke's. You know, I saw a video on the Canadian Carpenter. Apparently Bloke and Joel went and took out a, uh, a friggin' Corvette. A uh, yellow Corvette. And guess who was driving it? If you guessed Joel, you're wrong. It was Bloke. A lot of people don't think that big guys can fit into those cars. Well, if you met my buddy Angry Joe, and you have on Vlog 200, he's a pretty big dude. Like, he's 6'7". At the time, when he drove my car, he was over 300 pounds and he rode the train he drove the Trans Am no problem he loved that car he said that car it's a bitch to get into but once you're in it you're comfortable you sit perfectly you can operate the vehicle it's just a bitch to get in and out of you practically got to fall into it and fall out of it <laughs> and uh yeah because it's a low it sits low but uh bloke really liked it i i don't know if it was a test drive or if he's honestly considering getting a little toy. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't talked to him all weekend. I figured he's probably at the farm. And when he goes to the farm, he doesn't have his cell phone on. He's there to have fun. He doesn't want to be bothered with text messages. So I never really talked to him all weekend or anything. But that'd be awesome if he had his Corvette. I brought the Trans Am down. You know, we can go cruising the streets of London. Being dinks. And uh, just having a good time, you know. But, uh... Oh, here, let's get an update on the Wi Fly City. Wi Fly City, and look at that, we still got four bars. This thing's kicking ass. Freak yeah. Looks like it rebooted for some reason, the computer rebooted, but whatever. But, uh, yeah, internet is working. Oh, well, this is embarrassing. Firefox crashed. Are you serious? Firefox doesn't crash. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's working. YouTube came up and everything, so right on. Wi Fly City, man, I'm telling you, that thing is awesome for the price I paid. <laughs> Best Wi Fi upgrade ever. If you're wondering what it is, videos on the tech channel and I showed how to install it and all that. Because one of the biggest concerns with the Wi Fly City was uh, Windows 7 compatibility. People were trying to install it on Windows 7 and couldn't get it to install. And um, I don't know why they couldn't get it to install. It was. Literally, I popped in the driver rear disc. Yeah, rear. Oh no, that one actually had driver spelt right. So, I popped in the disc, and then uh, it was cake. Installed the software, plugged in the hardware, and we were done. Ready to rock. Oh, cigar. So, yeah, pretty much, uh, that was probably one of the awesomest purchases. Purchases? I can't even talk right now, guys. Awesomest purchases. I've ever made off a of deal extreme was that Wi Fly City because now I can do live shows out here. You know, once I get some floor space again. <laughs> uh, I gotta get working on that. I got so many friggin' projects on the go. I wanna get the Trans Am going, I wanna get this thing going, I wanna get that thing going, friggin' everything going, and I just. You know, overwhelming, taking on too many things at once. I, I gotta tame her down. But, uh, that, and I need a lot of work done on this thing. I still need some parts for this thing too for the go kart. Not parts, I need some more metal. But whatever, figure that out at a later date. But uh, yeah, Wi Fly City, amazing for giving you uh, wireless when you need it. And also, if you don't want to pay for internet and your neighbor has an open, uh, you know, network resource, I'm just saying, they might be able to pick up their router and you can just like leech off the friggin' Wi Fi. If they're dumb enough to leave it open, steal away, you know. Also, great for people who just want to go, uh, like, in their car with a netbook or a laptop, you know, pull into a McDonald's or, you know, Starbucks, if you have those in your area and they said they have free Wi-Fi, pull into a Starbucks, steal their Wi-Fi, you know, pull into a McDonald's, steal their Wi-Fi, pull into a wherever they have free Wi-Fi in the world, you know, just give her, Wi-Fi City will get you there, so, right on. Well, this update was actually really long and drawn out, eh? Um, I didn't really do much today, so I do apologize. Had a little bit of talking with the cat, though, so right on, and, uh, I'm gonna head her back inside, so, Frig, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh -huh. Girl from Mir to Diablo and boss battle. Frig yeah. Well, in that last scene, you saw the girlfriend was going head to head with Diablo and she beat the game. So I don't know what that means now, but she's still playing. So I guess there's more to do after you beat Diablo. So right on. But guys, it's getting kind of late. I need to shut this down. I got to work tomorrow and stuff. So we're going to end the vlog here. I know, I know. I didn't really do much today that I said I was going to do, but uh, it was too freaking hot to do anything. And last thing I wanted to do is be outside in a furnace working on shit so I don't take well to the heat. So on that note we're gonna shut this down hopefully tomorrow it's cooler out and I can get more done but uh, if you like today's video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button let me know you like the video and I like that. Let me also know if it's safe to charge a battery while it's still in the car and uh, if you have any other comments to leave you know where to leave in the comment section. So until next time guys keep on vlogging.